Hi, today we're going to cover basic electrical circuits, switch, light bulb, a fuse just for safety, and a battery. When the switch closes, the electrical current will go through the fuse, through the switch, and light up the light, which in this case is our load. So we have a source, we have control, and we have an output. Here we have the electrical diagram for the circuit we saw earlier. On the circuit earlier, we had a battery, a fuse, a switch, and a light bulb. Here we have symbols for a battery, a fuse, a switch, and a light bulb. I am now going to add a little more detail to this drawing. So we've told, we've now listed the type of battery. So it's a 12 volt, 7.5 amp hour battery. If we have more than one of anything, we usually label them so we know which one we're talking about. So this could be B1. As an example, it's up to the person doing the drawings. This could be F1 for the first fuse, if we have more than one fuse. And we've labeled the type of fuse. This would be switch one. And this could be lamp number one. And then on a table, off to the side, on another page in the drawing, we could explain the manufacturer, uh, the type, the, or other specifications of the different device. I hope you can see between this drawing and the sample on the first video, uh, the similarities and how this relates. One common misunderstanding with electrical circuits, electrical drawings, is that the drawings don't look like the actual device in the field uh, per se. And that is because the electrical drawing is trying to show the relationship between the devices. It's used by the engineers and the designers to design a system. Then the actual wires are actually decided after. So we, this, this is showing a connection between the fuse and the switch. There may be a variety of points in between. There may be different wires. The wires may go to different connectors or terminal strips. Uh, different uh, uh, wire number in a travel cable might be used to go to the car top, etc. So that's not shown at this stage. That would be shown in a hookup drawing or a manufacturing drawing. It would show how to put the system together. And that, that is not a true electrical drawing. It is a drawing just to show how to assemble something. So this does not show all the wire colors, numbers, etc. As you can see compared to the sample. Here we have two switches in series. When this switch closes, nothing happens. When this switch closes, nothing happens. But if both switches close at the same time, power is allowed to flow from the battery through the fuse, through the first switch, the second switch, to the light. So both switches need to be closed at the same time to light the light bulb. Here we have the circuit diagram for the circuit you just saw on the plywood, which was two switches controlling a light bulb. And these two switches were in series. So here on the drawing, again, we have the battery, the fuse, connected to two switches, which we'll now designate, let's say, SW1, SW2, and as you saw on the sample, both switches need to be closed in order for electricity to flow through to the light bulb. Here we have two switches in parallel. If this switch is closed, the light will turn on. Or if this switch is closed, the light will turn on. So compared to the series circuit where both switches had to be closed to light the light bulb, in this case, either this switch or this switch will cause the light bulb or the output to turn on. Here we have the electrical drawing for the previous uh, demonstration. Battery, fuse, two switches in parallel, and a light bulb. So you can see how this is drawn compared to how it looked on the plywood. The two switches are in parallel, so the current can go through either this switch to the light or this switch to the light. 